So Microsoft introduced something at Ignite 2022 that actually really excited me on a, a much sort of deeper level. I thought that Microsoft Places was something that was really, really interesting. And I wanna talk about it in today's video, give you a bit of an insight of what is included in Microsoft Places and sort of the future of productivity in terms of hybrid and remote and how this might be that bridging gap. So for those who don't know, Microsoft introduced Places. Places is a new way to solve the problem between hybrid and remote working, making sure to take advantage of what resources you have available and sort of keeping a schedule in place so that people don't necessarily work from home all the time or work from the office all the time, maximizing productivity and time. So let me give you a brief overview of it. You can find an article about it in the link in the description from Microsoft from the Ignite 2022 announcement. So very simply, Microsoft Places is focused on helping you to create a schedule around hybrid work. So for example, it can give you a week ahead of your routine and give you not just a sort of outline of what your week will look like based on external factors like managers and other people. Like for example, it could say, you're working four days in the office, but one day at home. But what it does is it connects with the actual offices and the buildings, which means that you can see not just who's going to be in, but the capacity of people in the building and the space available. This is such an interesting technology especially when it comes to taking advantage of office space and actually using an office to its full ability. So for example, this sort of technology could not only help businesses to work out where people are and what they're doing in terms of whether they're remote or whether they're in the office, but it can also tell you, okay, we're spending too much money on this building that's only being used once a week could this potentially be mapped to somewhere else and could we allocate everyone in on these certain days? Which is a really interesting technology that can be analyzed and improved over time. And I think that's really insane from a business perspective, especially when you're thinking as a big picture, okay, if we adapt three or four things that don't annoy everyone, can we improve that way of working for everyone? And I also like how they're trying to solve the issue of people coming into the office that I think they're all, everyone's working from the office that day and then they're all working at home. And the concept is to have this hybrid scheduling so you can take advantage of who's where and when so that you can actually collaborate in the best formats. And also what I like, there's so much stuff I like about this, the ability to find out who's in certain collaboration rooms, booking meetings and moving the furniture to best suit the room for collaboration is a really, really interesting technology for me. And also, <laughs> you can tell I'm slightly excited about Microsoft Spaces. I probably will never use it because of the way that we, we don't have a big enough team for it to work, but it really interests me for that aspect. Now, the one thing that really, really excited me was the actual ability to see if you were set to leave the commute times. I think one of the biggest problems right now is like people assume that you need to be at work at like 9 a.m. Obviously, it's very, very helpful. But for example, let's say you left at 8 a.m. You hit traffic for 45 minutes, but you left 20 minutes after that, like eight, I don't, and maybe a little bit later, 8.45 you would see a reduction of 20 minutes of traffic. And that has a dramatic improvement to how much energy you come to when you arrive to the office and how much time you actually spend doing it. So for example, conceptually, the Microsoft app might say, if you head now, you can get back in 34 minutes. It looks like it's gonna present you with an ability to see, okay, this is a traffic sources, but it recommending that if you leave at this time, you're actually gonna save 20 minutes. So work, a little bit in the morning and then commute in at this time because the traffic's considerably better. I love that so much. The ability to actually understand your commute in a much better fashion in terms of the time allocation is insane. And I think that's something that really isn't talked about enough. And I am I'm interested to see how the hybrid communication will improve, if that makes sense, in terms of a, a personal productivity workday. Now, they also do have an ability inside of the schedule to see sort of like your team's outlines, but also like a suggested office day. So if they're seeing like over 70% capacity, like you might as well come into the office this day because everyone's gonna be in. 
that is suitable for your work. And then obviously, you know, suggest remote days at the same time too, based on least amount of people that have been in the office too. So I'm really excited for Microsoft Places. It'd be really interesting to see where and how it's going to be rolled out. I know that they've got a fair few partners in the plans and I've, um, it only still states that it'll be available in, in, in 2023. But for me, this is so big that I think it would, it's a pain that not everyone's going to get this, if you know what I mean. Like everyone should get their hands on a technology like this because I think it's a real game changer in terms of hybrid and remote work. So folks, hopefully you found this video helpful. Maybe it was just me ranting about Microsoft Places and how much I like it, but I hope you enjoyed today's video and found it useful if it's something, a technology that you're interested in for sure. Thank you very much folks, and I look forward to speaking to you all very soon. Please do make sure you subscribe if you're brand new. Cheerio.